time. What man can show me who places any value on his time, who reckons the worth of each day, who understands that he is dying daily? For we are mistaken when we look forward to death. The major portion of death has already passed. Whatever years lie behind us are in death's hands. Therefore, hold every hour in your grasp. Lay hold of today's task and you will not need to depend so much upon tomorrow's. While we are postponing, life speeds by. Nothing is ours except time. We are entrusted by nature with the ownership of this single thing so fleeting and slippery that anyone who will can oust us from possession. What fools these mortals be. They allow the cheapest and most useless things which can easily be replaced to be charged in the reckoning after they have acquired them. But they never regard themselves as in debt when they have received some of that precious commodity. Time. And yet time is the one loan which even a grateful recipient cannot repay. I cannot boast that I waste nothing, but I can at least tell you what I am wasting and the cause and manner of the loss. I can give you the reasons why I am a poor man. I do not regard a man as poor if the little which remains is enough for him. I advise you, however, to keep what is really yours and you cannot begin too early. The greatest obstacle to living is expectancy, which hangs upon tomorrow and loses today. The whole future lies in uncertainty. Live immediately.